Hi, this is Stephen Smith of Art Smith Craftworks, and for today's DIY Friday, I want to show you how to make the prop scaffolding that holds the propeller at the back of my steampunk airships. So, watch this. The first thing I start with when I make the scaffolding for the, the prop struts on the steampunk airships is I, I start with a couple of coffee stir sticks, not a couple, three to be precise. And those are a good weight to uh, put on the side of the airship and support the, the propeller um, as it spins or when it spins on the back uh, of the airship. The second thing I do, and not always this way, you know, it just depends on the styling of that particular uh, prop strut because they can be quite ornamental and nice looking. But for this one I've started with your simple uh, clothespins, just the wooden clothespins that you buy anywhere for a couple of bucks. And then I take the clothespin apart so that we basically have something like that. And I won't really use the spring for this, so I'll just uh, save that. I'm not going to throw that away. That, I mean, take a look at that. That looks like some kind of tubing coil or something that can be used on something else, right? Reuse everything. So when I get through with these pieces, I glue those to some of those coffee stir sticks and then something like this is what I have at the end of that. So they're glued and clamped with wood glue until the, the glue dries. And then once I have those, I can use a form that I made a long time ago for just this purpose. And it gives me the, the basic shape of the prop scaffolding so that I can start to put that together. And then when I do that, I wind up with a centerpiece like this. And then on there, I glue two outside pieces like so. And I'll, and I'll cut these so that they set much more level than that. And I'll also add some of these cross pieces in here. Now maybe not all of those because I use that for when I just use the plain coffee stir sticks, but with using the clothespin pieces, it's gonna change the dynamics of it a little bit. So I may modify what goes on here. Okay, so this is what the prop strut looks like with the little cross support pieces added. And now that it's dry, you can take it, flip it over, show you what it looks like on the back side. And then what I'll do is drill holes here, here, and maybe here. And that will allow me to stick a small nail or bread into the airship body along with some glue to help secure that. Now there'll be three of these um, on the back of the airship in between each of the three fins, one vertical fin and the other two um, at a 120 degree angle. So these will basically go around in between those at 120 degrees all the way around the body of the airship. And the propeller then will be back here. There'll be a little hexagonal shape uh, prop um, bushing there that this will glue to and then the prop will be out here and will be able to be spun. So here's what the prop struts look like once they've been stained and I choose this uh, green stain. I actually use this a lot just because it seems to go really well with the rest of the airship colors. It, it looks kind of Victorian. Um, I, I, just, I just really like it. On the other underside you can see the original structure that I was building with the, the cross pieces, the support pieces, which are just more uh, cut pieces of the the coffee stir sticks that I showed you at the at the beginning and Then the the clothespin pieces that you can see here The last step is going to be to add some rivets so that they just look a little bit more Steampunk a little more structural and I'm going to do that now Okay, now this is what the uh, Scaffolding looks like with the rivets on and the rivets really are just put on there with a with a copper colored puffy paint like you would do on a t-shirt or something and just squeezing it putting little dots on there gives a perfect little rivet effect getting them consistent is uh, a little tricky sometimes but otherwise it, it's a really great effect 
So the way this prop scaffolding actually goes on the back of the airship is kind of like I have it held on here. So there'll be like a little bit of a, a shaft here and that hub I was telling you about will be right here. Let me see if I can turn this just a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. And then that will mount to this down here. The three prongs on this end will actually get kind of attached to the to the ends of the airship and like I said in between the two um, the two the two fin areas here and that's how that gets stuck on there so that's how I build the prop strut for the back end of my steampunk airships I'm Stefan Smith of Art Smith Craftworks and this has been DIY Friday stay tuned for next week I don't know what I'm gonna do next week but it's gonna be good <laughs>